this as well. So we are recording now. So anyways, welcome everybody. Welcome to our Monday night training call, which is going to be a lot of fun tonight because I thought I'm talking with a few people. Let me just get a few people, see if we're get somebody muted here. Um, I thought, speaking with a couple leaders, that it would be great to do a recap of our exciting event. I have seen so much buzz, and it was so awesome. And the um, the Sorry to speakers were just Gary, incredible. There's a lot of feedback from whatever other monitor you have in your space. There's, I'm not getting that on my end. There's a lot you hear of. I could hear it from the live. I could hear it I, bouncing. I think what happened is I reached for my phone and saw that it was playing live on my phone um, here as well. Thanks, Krista. Yeah, so I just shut my phone off. But um, uh, awesome job, obviously, by Krista and Paul Austin and the speakers. I think we need to have a round of applause for all these people that that did such an amazing job. And I can't tell you how you know, important it is for us to continue to grow leaders. And, you know, um, I was speaking with Paul today, we got five or six new people lined up for our next one, which our committee is going to set up and get scheduled right away so that we can try and continue to grow this thing. But I'd like to uh, also, uh, you know, welcome my co-host tonight, uh, Carla Archer. And the reason I'm having Carla is I'm always thrilled to have Carla. She's such an amazing leader, great teacher, great trainer. And um, she uh, continues to add value to our field. Uh, she continues to invest in herself to become better. And so I wanted Carla to come on because she's got a 30-day challenge we're going to talk about just towards the end of this call tonight. But I thought it would be really exciting for uh, Carla and I to come on together and just share a little bit uh, about, you know, a couple of our takeaways first before we get this rolling. What do you think about that, Carla? And then we'll go yeah, to that's the field. Great. Absolutely. So why don't, you, why don't you start us off and, and give us, uh, you know, one or two things that really resonated with you and what were a couple of your takeaways from this summit? Well, I think the thing that resonated with me the most was just the sense of community and family within this organization. Um, you know, I've really come to notice that more and more, especially during these times where we're separated from each other and uh, how important it's been for me to, to have this community of people that I call my friends and my fellow entrepreneurs that I work with. And I was so proud of the organizing committee, of the speakers, of the attendees, just everybody who came together. It, it almost gives me chills just talking about it because my heart is so full. I, I just, it's just like a feeling I've, I've, I've never known before in an organization. So that's probably for me the biggest takeaways. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's a great, uh, certainly a great takeaway for sure. And, and I think that, you know, all of us are exuding that to the best of our ability and, and, Supporting each other in this mission is such a vital component. And we have so much of that um, and, and have developed that. And, and I think it's important that we continue to do that and we continue to initiate that thought process and that um, sort of mindset when we bring people in. Because I think the mindset of network marketing or MLM has sort of been tarnished and Ray Higdon and, and other trainers have really done a good job to bring it back to the forefront of that it is a real business, um, but it's not a business. It's not a lottery ticket. You know, you don't you don't buy a you know a membership or become an associate and sign a couple of people up and think oh you're going to be rich. Uh, there's a lot of work to it. But if you apply yourself and we help each other and support each other, because there's good days and there's bad days. And we need to be there for each other and we need to support each other. And I think that, you know, one of the biggest takeaways uh, for me um, was the emotion that we all feel when we hear a new speaker come on. Um, and I think we're all like, we don't want to hoist that person up and, and, you know, raise them to the clouds and support them. And, you know, you've seen those 
you know, those images on Facebook before where it lifts other people up. You have somebody reaching down to lift somebody up. And I really feel like that's what we're doing when we have a speaker because we know that it's nerve wracking uh, to, to, to talk. It's probably one of the biggest fears. But I also know that there's people on this call tonight that are sitting there right now saying, I'm gonna be a speaker. I'm gonna be on that call and I'm gonna train the field and I'm gonna add value because I know that if I do that, that's where I can find gold in myself. That's where I can grow. And I know that I spoke, you know, we had an after uh, call, committee call and speaker call after. And you could just feel the vibe about how proud people were and how they felt empowered um, to be able to step out of their comfort zone um, and, and to be able to uh, step into their greatness because we all have that. But the last thing, and then I'll shut up, that really, really excited me was um, Big L Scheider. His language on how to control and maneuver a presentation on a prospect is absolutely brilliant. And so we know that the power of conversation can make or break, you know, stuff. And we sometimes have to circle back and apologize if we do something wrong or we get too eager and we say the wrong things. It's not with intent that we do the wrong thing, but it's, we've all experienced that where we've, you know, almost as Paul Austin calls it, Vox Life vomited on somebody. And I think it would bode well for everybody, including myself, to go back and, and look at what Big Al and his son Keith talked about and write the points down, the five steps of um, presenting um, to. So that, that portion of the you know, summit was so important to me because just when you think you have good conversation and that you're, you're good at something, you find out that there's always somebody way better, you know? So you know that the only room in your house is the room for improvement. And so those were really two really th exciting things for me for, for, this, uh, for this summit, for sure. So what I'm gonna ask uh, everybody to do, and, and uh, Carla, maybe you can help me with this, is um, uh, somebody, if you want, just uh, put up your hand, raise your, your hand. And uh, we'll watch on the, uh, the, um, uh, the chat for somebody that wants to offer. And I encourage anybody that's never spoken before, please uh, speak if you were on this call. And if you weren't at the summit, um, feel free to um, add something after you've listened to some of the people on here as well. So do we have anybody that has their hand up that wants to offer something? that was a takeaway for them or something that really resonated with them? It's gonna, it, no, I don't see any hands yet. It just, oh, oh I see Heather Lemke yeah. right there. So yeah. Heather, she's actually physically got her hand up. <laughs> well, you should be able to unmute yourself, Heather. There I there go. You go. I think Al and Keith um, were amazing. My face hurt from slapping myself after because everything they were saying about what to do wrong, I was, I thought I was doing it where they had a vendor show where I was at. And now I keep thinking all those people that I was presenting to, oh my God, if I would have been using the verbiage that, that uh, Al was and Keith were saying, oh, it would have gone so much smoother and I would have been able to get through to them so much quicker. But I think the thing that stood out with me the most, both on this summit and the other one is that the Lord works in mysterious ways. And I just think of all the number of people that were able to take part in all this training on both summits, just because of COVID and because it was online, where they might not have been able to get to it otherwise, because the cost would have been such an, an impeding factor. Like we have to take advantage of this and put a silver lining on these lockdowns. And I think this was a major one for a lot of people that they were able to take part in this. Who gets to go to training like that for $25? Yeah, it's, it's absolutely crazy. And I agree with you 100%, Heather, that, that uh, you know, we're all able to have a front row seat. And that's yeah. so exciting, you know. All these events that I've been to before, and, and uh, I know along with my teammates, uh, we've been to events in Vegas and whatever. 
and you pay extra for VIP seating and all this sort of stuff. And here we all have a VIP seat um, yeah. based on, on the, um, you know, on the, on the pandemic. So um, great point. Yeah, we all have. And, and just think, I mean, we're 500 people that were sold out event. If we all that went to this event, all of us brought one person to the next one and reattended, we're a thousand. Is that yes. easy? One person. A front row seat. And a, and a front row seat, right? And <laughs> what a great gift. What I, I believe it's a great gift for a new associate to come yeah, on sure. and be able to learn and so on. So, you know, it, it's something that we can certainly look at. And I think as a team, um, we can get a thousand people. I've already found out how we can do it with um, Zoom as well. So I've already talked to Zoom. So we're, uh, we're prepared to meet the, meet the demand for sure. But really, when you think about it, it's pretty simple when you think about, we only need to bring one person each to the yeah. event. Of all the people that were on here, bring one person each and we're at a thousand people. Now, can you imagine if you're lined up backstage, back Zoom, whatever you want to call it, and you're up next in front of a thousand people, you change that fear into excitement. You change that fear into it's the same emotion. And you turn that into excitement and you empower the, the crowd and everybody on this call can do it. Everybody can do it. I've seen it in two summits now where people were, no, I can't. And yes, you can. No, I can't. Yes, you can. And then next thing you know, they're off and they're like, I did it. I did it. And look at the training we had, folks. Look how awesome it was. You know, Karen, I'd love to hear from you. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, we got Thank lots you of so hands much, up. Heather. That was awesome. What a great point. <laughs> Terry, we have lots of hands up too. So you just let great. me know. Okay. Okay. Is Karen going to go? Did you say? I'm here. Okay. Go ahead, Karen. Then we'll get That's to the other. Because I was looking for the button to raise hand as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, Terry, you know, you, you kind of hit the nail on the head as far as, you know, these events, not only as a speaker do you feel more empowered, but these events just seem to build more success. And I went through, I stayed up till almost two o'clock this morning, going over the recordings all over again. And I will tell you, although I know I'm playing bigger than I have before, I'm playing bigger now because this is my office today. <laughs> So there's a great big, huge calendar, calendar, calendar on my desk. And, you know, I was talking to, to Kevin earlier today and I said, you know, I moved my office from downstairs upstairs a few months ago because when you're sitting at the dining room. It up into our loft area and, you know, I'm staring at the morning I thought you know what I have certificates of achievements I have the neural man I have the box like foot form with the sock on it like I need this stuff out there in my face and I have not stopped all day long today between prospecting video phone calls follow-ups it's been one of my most productive days today following that event good job good for you so obviously getting organized and having your office set up and having a calendar, calendar, calendar was one of your takeaways for sure. Cause I know it was one of mine. Absolutely. So that's fantastic. Absolutely. We loved hearing you um, speak. Um, Karen, it's a, it, it was just a thrill and I'm, I'm, um, I'm just so proud of, you know, and I've known you for a number of years now and just so proud of where you were. And thank goodness for Coach Dugsy to, to get on the phone and get you back on the bench, right? And get you back on the, get you back suited up. Absolutely. So, so thanks so much, Karen. I want to go to, because I don't know whether you know this, um, but I'm going to go to Sue Hoover because Ron Hoover has been my best friend for 22 years, 21 years. He's in charge of our medical um, sales at, uh, at Vox. And this is his dear sister, Sue, who um, is a dear friend of mine. I've known her for ages. And um, she attended uh, the whole event and just had only signed up 
two weeks earlier, two weeks prior to, and watch for two days. So, Sue, if you can unmute yourself, we'd love to hear what a couple of your takeaways were and welcome. Uh, can you hear me, Terry? Yeah, we got you loud and clear. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, I know that I reached out to a few of you uh, during the summit, and um, I just, I was so mind blown. And as I shared with you earlier today, Terry, yeah, we go back a long way. And I was one of those people that was like, yeah, the insoles, yeah, the socks, yeah, the patches. And uh, it wasn't until I kind of hit a critical mass. Um, my brother and I were having a coffee on the anniversary of my mom's birthday. And uh, it was just the time to sort of start things. So as a new person, what I want to say about the summit was the sense of community, like you were saying, Carla, is immense. And every single speaker that you had, kudos to the committee, because um, I haven't done one thing since the summit. I'm going to be completely honest, because I said to Terry, it was all so incredibly overwhelming, like in the most, I almost had paralysis by analysis. <laughs> it was, it, it, so I have my, you know, this notebook has 26 pages right now of all things that are on the to do. Um, and I've had two weeks of kind of getting people to try things, but my biggest, what I've learned the most, and it doesn't may not be one of these wow things was be the star of your own story. Mm -hmm. um, and also the intention of communication is to understand. I think what I have found that I was doing in sharing my experience with Vox because I was feeling the effects of it, which is why I decided to sign on as an associate. I believe it. I believe in it. I believe it's going to change my life slowly but surely. And that was what I said to Terry, little strokes fell great oaks and someone shared that. But the summit to me was just such an example of, of how amazing this community is, this family, the knowledge here for this week. Like I, it was, you touched on every single thing that I probably had a question on and more so I, I know exactly what I need to do to sort of start slowly, humbly, and then work my way up. And, and, and when I stumble that there's a bunch of people that I can reach out to, to um, pick me up. So I just want to say, thank you. That my biggest takeaway is gratitude. I know that maybe that's not <laughs> the right answer or the, but. Um, the perfect is, answer for you. Yeah. It right. is gratitude and just, uh, yeah. I can't wait to speak one day. So right. I knew somebody was thinking it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So thanks everybody. And um, thanks Terry for introducing me to the team again. And, and just, yeah. So ready to make new changes in my life and, and share with others what this well, technology can do. We're all grateful that you're here, Sue, and we need you. Thanks. We, need your help. we got a big mission and we need all of us to, to help. So who else have we got? Thank you, Sue. Who else have we got, Carla? We have Brenda Klein. She put up her hand right away. So I'm going to just ask her to unmute. Brenda? Is she there? Are you there, Brenda? Still there? She has to unmute. She should be able to unmute, unmute no problem. There she is. Okay. Are you there, Brenda? Hi, to, yes. Okay, there we go. Whoa. Okay, I, my biggest takeaway was um, when Jay talked and just to to feel him, see him speak and his, feel his heart and, and um, what he said and his sacrifices that he had to make to get this company to where it's at today just really spoke to my heart and just knowing that, you know, what I pay to join is nothing compared to what he is putting into this company for all of us to be able to have this opportunity to change people's lives and our lives change. And so I was just really grateful to hear his story and to see how much he had to go through and still going through with his family and all of that. So that yeah, was my I, takeaway. I think that's a wonderful takeaway, Brenda. I think all of us have, those of us that, you know, have heard Jay speak before, and those of you that may be the first time that you've heard Jay speak, his compassion, his intention is so genuine and so pure and so good um, that this culture has to start from the top down. And despite the pressures, despite the stresses that he goes and faces, 
and the challenges in manufacturing, think about the challenges just in manufacturing with COVID. Um, and, and yet his compassion is there and uh, he shows up, he, he backs us and gave us thousands of dollars worth of product for prizes for our event to, to help people. So great point, Brenda. He's an, an amazing guy, an amazing leader and uh, always a great takeaway for sure when we hear Jay speak. So thank you for that. Um, okay, and another, another, and oh, one of ahead. the other takeaways that I had was um, that uh, just all the resources that we have to be able to do our business. And I like that segment of, of the summit. That was really cool to see the cards and mm -hmm. just her little office and how she had her little office set up. And oh, Noelle's, yeah. Noelle. Yeah, that was, that was really a good segment there so yeah and if you ever have boy. any questions brenda noel is just a wonderful wonderful lady um so if you ever have you know any questions that you didn't catch or want she's great and awesome and will help you line up whatever you need so great takeaway as well thank you so much brenda you're welcome so who have we got carla diane dinkmeyer is waiting oh, are, are diane. Yeah, let's, diane. yes just have to unmute. Okay, you. I'm unmute. I'm un I'm unmuted. Hi guys. Oh my hey, God. Hey, what a how are you, day. Diane? I am rocking. I am so good. <laughs> so yeah, it hasn't snowed here yet. It's supposed to tonight. I may not say that in the morning, but right now I'm rocking. Good for you. And um, kudos, kudos, kudos to the entire team that put this together. Um, I've been in the back of big events like this um for many years and i know what it takes so heartfelt heartfelt thanks um couple of really quick takeaways greg i love trust the process but do the work mm -hmm. oh where'd she go where did she go Diane. That's it. That's all she thought was the best, I guess. She said. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> well, on that note, Diane, it was great talking to you. <laughs> oh, I don't know where she went. That is really weird. Yeah, well. Okay, well, I hope she can log back on if she got dropped or whatever. I hope she can log back on and we'll, we'll watch for her, Carla. <laughs> Okay, how about Ingrid? We have Ingrid if she wants to unmute herself. Yes. Hi, Ingrid. Hey there, everyone. Oh my gosh, it was so good to see everyone. Nice to see That's, you. Goodness, I am, let's see, so many different takeaways. First of all, I love how affordable you make it possible to be a part of the weekend that it is insane of all companies I've ever been a part of. You guys are awesome. Uh, and what I also loved about it is yes, the support all around. Um, I There's th this consistency of people saying that we're one team and that we're here to support each other. And it's the actions that really prove it. You know, um, whenever I've reached out for someone to someone, and, and, and ask for their help, they've always been there. And I would think, oh, that person's too busy for me. Oh, I don't wanna bother them. Psh. Then they make me feel like I'm the only person that called them that day. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's welcoming they make me feel. So really amazing um, how accessible people are. And then uh, I loved too the, what do you call it? The, the training was incredible, the first training was a lot of sharing, sharing heartfelt stories. Then this training was a lot of other topics and the business and the details. That was really cool. So, I mean, each training, you guys make it look like it's so easy. Like you just decided to be on a Zoom like this overnight and let's just hang out and talk to each other. You make it look so easy. So thank you for everything that you guys have done. I, it's really a honored to be a part of this company. Well, Ingrid, um, you and I have met in Florida before. We've had some, some great dinners together with, uh, with your husband and, and the rest of the team. And I'm just really grateful that, that, that you're here. I'm grateful that you keep 
um, tuning in. I'm grateful for everybody that jumps on these calls. Um, you're a very integral part of this mission. And we all need to learn um, to get better at it because I can tell you, God's honest truth is Jay doesn't stop learning. Yeah. So if we I, take the example of our CEO who continues to not only invest in himself, but invest in products, invest in you know manufacturing, better ways to do things, consultants, landing pages, website, um, mm -hmm we all have an obligation to do the same. And that's one of our pillars. And Carla and I have talked about that on numerous occasions. And there's a girl too, that, you know, is the epitome of investing in yourself and getting better as well. So um, yeah. great, great to have you. We're so grateful that you're still here. And those are great takeaways, Ingrid. So thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. I think she's back. Maybe. I'm back. She's back. Oh, she's back. <laughs> I'm telling you, it has been so hot. I have been on two conference calls back to back and my phone got so hot, it just died. I had to go get my, my tablet so that I could be here. Well, Greg uh, thought that, that, that the only takeaway from the whole event was something he did. <laughs> <laughs> well, well for, first of all, Krista, I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> um, I, I want to be able to tap dance. Somebody ought to get you a pair of tap shoes to hang on your wall, sweetheart. You are great. So yes. I just wanted to shout that out. Um, Greg, trust the process and do the work. Powerful, powerful words. Judy's I want exercise. Powerful powerful, something to go forward with from that moment. Um, and Norm, I can't thank you enough for your plant the seeds talk. Um, I never knew about the bamboo plant and that really hit me that it takes five years for a seed for the bamboo plant to come up and break the surface. And once it's nourished and the sun hits, it takes nine, it takes five weeks to grow 90 feet. You know, I want to grow 90 feet this way, not this way, but I want to do it. So I want to thank you. Um, Noelle's tools and for my Scottish friend, Dave, um, I, um, I've got on my calendar this week to look at that system program because it was the answer to everything a busy network marketer needs. Mm -hmm. So I'll leave room for other people to share what they took away, but I just, I'm in love with being in this company, with this team, with this group. I see so many on my team here, Brenda, who just spoke is on my team, Valerie's here, I saw. And um, I think that together we are going to knock the socks off to 2021. <laughs> oh, I so, so agree with you. you. I so agree. Um, and, and Diane, you know, you and I have um, been friends. We did an event in Colorado um, and you've been in this game a long time, uh, you know, a lot longer than most we're years. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we were years. <laughs> um, but um, have you ever seen anything like a group of people that are compassionate, that truly care um, like this culture has developed? Have you ever seen that in any of your years? No, I've seen a lot of people who love what they do, love the products they have, and they care for their team, their little family. Mm -hmm. I've never seen in like close to 40 years um, this one team concept that just is amazing. Um, and, and if I could just take a minute, the call that I was just on was a networking meeting that I do every week. And um, I recruited somebody from that networking group who is a, um, a realtor. And she had um, just had the, the nerves in her neck burned a couple of times a year because she was in an accident and she was in such mm -hmm. pain. After two days of wearing the sock, she had to sign up. So nobody could believe it when I introduced her and I said, don't come to me with your needs. Now you go to her and I'll support her to help you until she gets it. And I've had so many calls. That's why my phone was so hot. So many messages. What do you mean? You know, why would you give that away? And people don't get it. But mm -hmm. we're one team and together mm -hmm. we make it happen. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
And um, I think that, you know, we continue to do that. We continue to bring new people in and train them right from the beginning about what our culture is. I think it's going to be very sustainable uh, yeah, think- by doing that. I think we're building the foundation on rock and not on sand. And so, so thank you for all you're doing uh, to, to, to um, move this mission forward. And you're always on the calls. Um, and we appreciate you so much. I appreciate you a ton. So nice to see you. And thanks for your takeaways. Appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. So who have we got now, Carla? Uh, BJ Evans has, has a hand up. I'll just ask him to unmute. She's still muted. I'm trying. There we go. There you are, BJ. How are you doing? Hey, doing great. Doing great. And I think it's wonderful that you uh, chose me, Carla, because I want to I want to piggyback on what Diane was saying. Okay. About that one team. I don't know if you all saw this on the team page today, but after the after our summit, I was taking um, my notebook and I was writing my action points and I started experiencing ants. <laughs> right? those automatic negative thoughts like why haven't I done this or am I going to get to do this and and then um someone I think it was I think it was Jackie is that the right name Jackie Moldar Mm -hmm. she had said find four of you right well I've got like 25 right but why aren't they four of me you know so I mean it's like whoa that's a lot that's a lot to handle and mail came and it was dropped off and I'm looking in this envelope here and this is from Diane who isn't even my who isn't even my team leader? She's not even my director. She adopted me at Niagara Falls. So talk about one team. And this was so encouraging because I'm I'm writing these these action points and they're daunting, right? And th- this was just amazing. And the words that she has inside here are like they're heaven sent. It's just it's incredible. The timing was great and it just really affirmed me. I'll I'll treasure this forever. And Diane, I just appreciate it so much. And we're just we're just dear friends now and um you were not even on the same team but we are on the same team so um that was that was amazing that wasn't even a takeaway my takeaway was the ants right i've always been taught positive mental attitude but it goes much deeper than that ants automatic negative thoughts right Mm -hmm. so we got it we got to fight those automatic negative thoughts like like um karen smith said and she said that um our why changes and so does our rejection. Mm-hmm. So th- that's deep, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm going over the notes and um, this has been fantastic. Thank you for everybody that, that arranged this and coordinated it. You all were, you are phenomenal. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you, Terry and everybody else. And Krista, Krista and Paul, amazing hosting job. Thanks guys. Well, BJ, thank you. Um, we, we, um, we know that those negative thoughts come to all of us at times. So you're not alone. And that's why team is so important because we edify each other, we support each other and we lift each other up. And sometimes when you feel like you can't, you know, lift the weight, we're here to lift it for you, right? Or help you lift it. And that's, what's really, really incredible. And, you know, that was a, you know, sort of a culture that we were trying to build from the beginning. And and I think Jay knew um, that it wasn't gonna be easy, Um, but we're just, I feel, I don't know if you guys feel or not, but I feel like we're just starting to get some really, exciting momentum some mm-hmm. real momentum where we're, we're we're better equipped to present we're smarter we got amazing leaders that are are cropping up and and stepping forward and coming into their greatness and we need that we need that because you know i sometimes feel like you know we have to be the ben and her for moses like for jay and we have to hold up his arms and um, I know that uh, by us doing these events, by uh, bringing in new speakers, by people attending, by selling out, he is speechless. He, he's, he, he just, he is so grateful. Um, and, and, uh, and so we just got to keep going. We just got to keep banging this out in the next event. We'll be ready to rock and roll and, and uh, target to a sellout at 750 or a thousand, whatever it happens to be. So um, great to have you BJ. And we're, we're grateful that you're, you're with us on this. So great takeaway. So who we got now, Carla? Uh, Paul Vanderveen has his hand up. We'll get him to unmute. 
I know there's two other people who have their hands up too. I'm saving you for the end. <laughs> I know you got the secret sauce to add to the end. <laughs> good, good evening, everybody. Hey, Paul, uh, how are um, you? I'm good. I'm good. There was, uh, there were so many, uh, so many golden nuggets in that whole weekend. It was like, you know, Saturday by the end, I was just totally exhausted, but, uh, I just wrote down a couple of things and actually my, my first aha moment was when, when Paul opened up the, the, you know, the whole event and, um, just talked about, you know, what he does. And, and this, to me, the simplicity of just finding people that, that, you know, have a, you know, have an ailment or whatever, and, you know, just reach out to them. And, and what really got me was, you know, um, not, you know, like thinking, oh, we gotta, we gotta explain our company and what our company is all about and what our founder is all about. And it was a real wake up call when he, said you know what they don't care they really don't care mm -hmm. and uh you know it's just like i think i have a solution can i send you a sample like how simple is that i mean it, it was akin to the simplicity of the language that uh you know big al used when when he presented so that was my that was my first takeaway um the other takeaway was just one thing that really hit me uh, when Jay was speaking, and uh, I actually put the quote in uh, and posted it on Facebook because I, it was so, to me, it said everything. And that was, if you want to achieve great things, you need great effort. And I think when I look around at my team and, and other people that are in, uh, you know, our, our team has got so much of um, that, that work ethic, like, they're, they're, they're always finding a way in between, you know, if they're busy in between, they're finding time to work the business and, you know, those, those efforts, you see them pay off over, uh, you know, over a period of time. And, and I know they will continue to do that. So, um, and then the lead off with Graham and Nikki, there was so much stuff there that just resonated with me about, you know, who's the star in your life and, and, um, you know, are you letting somebody else be the star of the movie or, or you know, are you stepping up and, uh, you know, they talked about and I, everything to light with them was just the realness of, you know, just how, you know, they're talking about their own, it was their own situation and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and what they went through. And, you know, we all have failures, but what do you do with them, right? Do you mm -hmm. let them defeat you or? Or, you know, is life happening to you or, or are you, you know, are you taking command and, and, uh, and looking after it? And uh, yeah, it, it was just great. And then, uh, and finally, uh, you know, Karen with, uh, with her story and, uh, you know, the whole talking about the fear of rejection and so on, uh, we've all been through it. Um, and there are times when we have to remind ourselves that, you know, a lot of this stuff, when it happens, it's not personal. We don't take it personally. It, it's people, you know, not everybody is, a, is a, as excited and ready for, for this journey as we are. So that was, those are my takeaways. Oh, fantastic, Paul. That's, uh, that's, uh, those are great takeaways for sure. And, and, you know, I think we all feel the fact that, uh, you know, we, um, we have a culture that's, second to none and I think that you know one of the things that I believe in this um, with the people that are building and the people that are partaking in these events and are on this call tonight is that you know su success is a is an important thing but it's it's success is defined differently by ever by all of us right and I think what's really really exciting is that you know we don't necessarily chase success with Vox what we do is we are becoming people of value we are becoming people of value we have something the world needs people have to value we, we are valued people because of what we know and so we are becoming people of value and because of that success is going to follow 
And I think it's the right order. And that's how we help each other and, and build for sure. So great takeaways for sure, Paul. And thank you for sharing that for sure. So I see we have my sister, Lori and Kevin. Is that right, Carla? Yeah, that's right. Okay, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> you pick who goes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Ladies before gentlemen. Ladies, Ladies before, before gentlemen. gentlemen. Okay, she's well, already gonna she, so she picked for us. <laughs> she won the draw, Doogsy. She won the draw. <laughs> you gotta be faster, Kevin, on the button. You're gonna play Jeopardy with Lori. You better <laughs> Lori, we well, can't see you. Your head's half covered in your phone. So tilt your computer up a bit or your phone. There, there we go. go. Okay. Oh, this is, I'm buried in paperwork. Um, okay. Number one takeaway for me was that Paul Austin can actually rap a verse. That was outstanding. And he got the jump on Dr. Joe. So that was really fun. That was um, a really cool takeaway. And you know what? We had been texting between us earlier in the day about Paul getting cocky with all his compliments. And I said, you just settle down because you can't rap. We all know that. And lo and behold, he runs and finds the Halloween box. And I thought I was going to pee my pants. <laughs> Anyways, that was really funny. Um, but something else that was cool for me was the fact that you talk about, you know, the company growing and maintaining the color and everything. And I think it's happening. So for me, it's actually the realization of a dream and watching prayer actually be answered in real time with, uh, with a mission that is materializing. You know, it's just the most amazing thing to watch. And what tells me that that is indeed actually happening is I knew two names out of the 16 people that won gold packs. And so that just means to me that that mission is getting further and further from ground zero. And that's the whole objective. So, um, so isn't that just the coolest thing? And Kev and I were talking earlier today and we were saying, you know, that it's probably a good thing that it, it takes time for these things to develop the whole um, idea of the bamboo plant. Um, because as the time unfolds, we're learning and, and, and crafting, you know, our skills in the meantime. And, um, and we're literally growing. And I remember one of the uh, parents on, on uh, my youngest baseball team saying, you know, this idea of enjoy the journey. So I have to really say that watching this event and seeing you know, all these cool, talented, mind-blowing people who are just bringing their personal gifts to this mission is, I, I'm telling you, I was, I talked to Jay during, during the day and I could hardly talk. I was so welled up with just emotion for what was going down. Like it was, it's like, it's like Jay says, it's like nothing else I've ever known. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, uh, I think you speak for a lot of people, Lori, that, that were on this, uh, on this two day event. And, you know, there was a lot of, you know, Kleenex moments and, you know, I, I maybe sometimes a little bit more for those of us that, you know, have been in from ground, you know, from day one. Um, I know that, you know, Kevin's coined the phrase Kleenex moments, right? So mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. we've heard people asking about whether they should buy shares in Kleenex and that sort of thing, just jokingly. Um, but when it's real emotion, it's, it's an emotion or tears of joy. And I've often said that, you know, you keep doing this, you'll find a joy, you'll feel a joy in this that you didn't believe was, was, you know, out there in this world, especially now with what we're you know, with what the world and the turmoil of the world's in. So this joy that we feel um, is, is really a blessing. It's really a gift. And it's, uh, it's our duty now. It's our obligation to share what we know and not take it personally. People, some people just aren't ready. And so I think that was, that really resonated, um, you know, throughout this. So thank you. Uh, thank you so much. I want to keep this call to an hour and Carla's, Carla's got, uh, 
uh, the last five minutes of the floor uh, or 10 minutes of the floor here. So I'm excited to hear from uh, my dear friend, our first Vox associate ever, the guy who's got a heart bigger than you can imagine, my dear friend, teammate, Kevin Duguay. What do you got for us, Kevin? Thanks, Tanner. Well, I got one minute because Carly's got 10, so I got to go quick. So here we go. So um, <laughs> I, I got to respect, so I gotta respect the coach, talking? you know, I got to call a play. So big, big thing for me is, is to see the people that you have shared over both uh, summits, people working in their strength. So, you know, I've talked to Krista. I said, you're a natural MC. I mean, that's the, her and Paul are like the glue that yeah. hold this together, right? Because you don't Absolutely. have the right MC, you can go in the tank in a heartbeat, right? And they just, Absolutely. they have a yeah. thing and you, you need the wheel spinner. You need the surprise. I got a guest host, Big Al. I mean, to think of a guy like that, do a teenager test. Are you kidding me? Yeah, man, teenager. <laughs> if a teenager can figure it out, dad, can I have the keys to the car? No. Okay, thanks, dad. I'm gonna, I'll ask next time. Maybe I'll cage my ass, whatever. So I got teenager test with Big Al. Um, probably the biggest thing is, we just get to be ourselves mm -hmm. and whatever, whatever it is that we have that has attracted us to Vox. Cause we had a neurological inconvenience. We're all failures. Cause we all failed the demo. And then you embrace a product. You get adopted into a family like BJ talked. I was orphaned. Yeah. We got a few other orphans on the family. I got, I got adopted. You know, I got a car for my friend. I, I'm a human being. Wow. Cool. And then to see us grow. And then, those people that stepped up to speak spoke about a challenge that they have or something close to their heart. And it just, it always comes together, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, and it's just who we are and it's just everyday people like on a team, you know, and, and I'll always, and, you know, Sainer and I from the background is that in a team, we can't play every position. Carla's doing 30 day challenge. We're going to find out about it. She's the challenge lady. I guess that's her new title now. I don't know, but it's like, do what you do, focus on your strengths. Then you can work on your weaknesses, but stay in your wheelhouse and share your story. And guess what? As a team, like all three pages on this one and the 500 bought a ticket, we're all in this thing together because the Super Bowl is to get to a billion. That's the deal. And we just keep working every day because I'm going to go to practice, I'm going on the calls, and my time's up. So, Carl, it's all yours, bye. <laughs> Dude, you're, you're so right. I mean, um, you know, the, the, the takeaways about showing up um, was one of the key things, too. You know, for me is, you know, you got to show up. Man, you, you, you don't get your diploma at college or university if you don't show up to class. Um, now, in today's thing, it's all online now anyway, so you don't have to show up to class, but class is online now, but you get the point. So showing up is a, is a key uh, component for sure. So great takeaways always, Kev. You always have so much wisdom to, to add to the field, and we're so grateful for you for sure. I know I am, and uh, love you, brother. It's awesome. Um, what I do want to say about Carla, though, because I love this girl, man. She is just rock solid. Um, I love challenges. I have always loved challenges. I love when somebody tells me I can't do something because that's like putting fuel in my tank. That's like, I'll show you, you, you rascal. Um, but so I'm a firm believer of challenges. And for the first couple of years I did, if you remember some of you that were there, the 90 day uh, achieve and believe plans I did. So I'm a firm believer of challenging ourselves. And if we don't challenge ourselves, we don't grow. And that's what we've talked about. That's what we've been, you know, trained on. So I'm a big advocate for challenges. So without further delay, I'm going to turn it over to my dear friend, Carla, and she's going to tell you about this challenge. She did do a video on our team page today. So go back and look at uh, the video on team vaccination. And uh, Carla, what do you got for us? What do I got for you? Well, that's exactly it. You know, we are just so full of momentum and excitement and energy. And we're all like, we got all these great ideas. And then we go, okay, now what do we do? And I was always like that. I get really excited. I'm like, what do I, what do I do? Give me the ABCs and I'll, I'll just do it. And um, having a challenge is, is a good thing to have because we need to have an idea of where we're going. Otherwise we're just willy nilly it all over the place. 
Elaine talked about making a decision and that's so important because if you haven't decided that you're going to do something, commit to a challenge, try to learn something new, chances are it's probably not going to happen. And Allie talked to us about consistency and just, you know, getting familiar with where consistency comes from. We don't just wake up one day and go, yep, yeah, I'm just going to be 100% consistent at something. Know that that is part of your growth and part of your journey too. It's really sticky in there trying to figure out when is the best time of the day to work. Um, you know, what is working for me? What doesn't work for me? And that's all part of the journey. So what I'm going to be doing is a 30-day study group challenge where we're going to come together and learn some of the next steps. Now, we learned some amazing language this weekend with Big Al and Keith. There's a lot of information out there from different trainers. But what we're going to do is come together as a community and learn from some of the trainers that I've been working with as well. Learn about, okay, who, who should we be talking to? How do we create that value for the people that we're talking to? Who's our ideal audience and where do we find them? And what do we say in our posts? And how do we get consistent in our posts? So all of the fundamental steps in marketing that you can start on one platform and get really good at. And then once you know that, you can expand that out to other platforms. Because once you understand some of the marketing and how you can talk to people in a way that makes you feel good and comfortable and isn't salesy or spammy and is really helping the person, which you know we all know from being part of this event that we all have the biggest hearts that we we've ever seen in an organization. And so we want to make sure that we're doing it right. And so that's what we're going to learn together in the 30 days. Now, showing up, just like Terry said, that's the best thing to do. Maybe you can't make every day in the 30 days, but show up and take some of it in. Do your best to show up. Start identifying maybe where those cracks are in your system as far as what's interfering me from getting to where I want to go and how's my time working and what are some of my distractions. So above just what I mentioned that you're going to learn, you're really going to start to expand and get a sense of how your business is working for you and what some of the next steps are that you can take. And what I'm there to do for you is just to make it so that you're not doing it on your own. It's always nice to have somebody that you can turn to who has some experience, who can help answer questions, or you can run something by or say, hey, could you just check on my profile picture for me really quick? Or what do you think about this as far as my ideal audience goes? Because I know that was a big thing for me. I kind of need that too. I need some mentorship. I need somebody who I can turn to or somebody who's done it that I trust and I know. And so that's what the group is there for. So if you guys are interested to join me for the 30 days, it's going to start on February 1st. And Terry mentioned that I did do a video on Vox Nation. You can watch that. There's more details in there. And I'm going to be hosting it outside of Vox, Vox Nation only because there's going to be some information being posted regularly every day and it'll get too much for the feed inside the group. So I've started a group outside as well. So if you're interested to take a look at it and see what it's all about, have a conversation with me, just connect with me uh, by sending me a message or you can come and join my group. It's the online um, business guide with Carla Archer. And I'll share some more information this week in the group. I'm doing some interviews with people who've gone through the process already once before who are from your Vox Life family. They're going to be sharing a little bit of their insight, uh, what the training did, what having support for them did, and also the changes that they're seeing in their business. Yeah, and so, I, you know, I think, Carla, what the great thing about a challenge is, um, no different than the five-day challenge, you know, on our, on our Facebook profile, um, right. you know, we saw a lot of improvements. And think about how blessed we are, people, to have this opportunity through Carla. We have lots of great trainers out there. There's Eric Worre. There's, you know, there's rank makers with Ray Higdon. There's, you know, there's, there's all kinds of trainers that we can find. Um, but to have an inside scoop, an inside trainer, that's part uh, of our mission with us that we can learn and then teach our uh, teammates because we have a responsibility to our teammates to make sure that they can be the best that they can be. So when you, you know, uh, invest in, and then learn, you're able to teach it. And that's what's exciting about it. So um, I, I'm really, really, uh, I'm really, really excited for this challenge. I'm, a, as I said, I'm a firm believer on challenges. Um, and I've seen some of the comments that, you know, people can't wait to get started. And, 
And, um, you know, other people that when they tell me they can't do it, they feel the same as I do. That's like putting fuel in my tank and get me fired up and so on. And so we need to do that. We need to do that. Have you ever seen a, a football team and do some relate to this? You ever seen a football team or a hockey team before they go out in the ice in the dressing room and look at how they fire each other up? Um, they challenge each other to be their best. Um, that's what championship teams are made of. And I feel like we are building a championship team here. We are becoming absolute uh, number one. We're going to hoist the cup. And, uh, and so these challenges I'm excited for. And thank you, Carla, on behalf of the field for, you know, doing this and wanting to, uh, you know, wanting to, to uh, put out your time and uh, to work hard to offer this to the field. And so if you can, people get on this, go for it. Um, awesome. Awesome. I'll put, I'll put some information in the comment section too. And, and it's really a privilege for me, you know, um, when I, I've come from a place where I've always, like I said, just give me the ABCs. And yeah. when I found something that's working and if it works for you, great. Who knows what you'll take away in the 30 days, but just show up like Terry was talking about and see, see what comes of it, you know, see what you can learn. And oftentimes the things that I tend to resist the most are the things I need to explore the most. And so if you're feeling resistant to something, just come, you know, it's a friendly environment. There's no pressure. Come hang out for 30 days and let's see what happens and, and where you go. One thing that I've really noticed with the group beforehand is how connected they've all become. And they've, they've created a, a deeper uh, sense of friendship and they've been helping each other out. And it's just an amazing thing to see. Now, Terry mentioned the challenge that I did before. That was a five day challenge. And you can find that in Voxination uh, under unit 14. If you didn't participate in it, it's a really great place to start because your profile page is where everybody's going to take a look and find out what you're all about. And so we want to get that set up really great before we go out and really start talking to people. So when we bring them back to be our friends or we're communicating with them and they're checking out our profile page, we are providing social proof that we are who we're talking, that we say we are. So it's a great place to start. Absolutely. Well, I look forward to it. I look forward to seeing uh, people on this, uh, on this challenge. And uh, let's all continue in the pursuit of excellence as we um, share this amazing technology with the world and uh, add impact and value to people's lives. And by doing so, bring joy and value to our own lives. So unmute yourself if you want to say good night. Good night, everybody. Thank you for being on here. Again, another thanks to the committee, to um, Krista and Paul for sure for their endless efforts and to all the speakers coordinators, Jen Moyer, and all the VIP team in the background, the committee that have put this together and uh, get ready for the next one because we're going to rock the house again. So thank you all and have a great week. Well, good night. Continue on. Thank you. Good night. Well, good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night.